What I try to do is to make something that I connect with first because I feel like if I connect with it, um, it makes it easy for me to be able to complete that bit and make you know other people actually feel it. For feeling itself, I remember I saved it with um, S D D D D D D, and then he was like, "What's this?" I was like, "Let me play it." I don't know, and I played it, and as soon as I started playing, even me, I sat back. I was like, "Oh, okay, this is nice." The first record I heard of Paul, it wasn't even a Paul record, it was the Fouse's record, I think, yeah, I think it was Marry Me, featuring Yemi Alade, and I thought Paul was a dope, dope rapper on that, on that, on that record. I joined maybe in January 2020 and I'd started to come into post sessions, you know, just to come and, you know, see how his recording process was. He now had a session with Rema and I was to, you know, I was the recording engineer for the session. And I think that was how, you know, working with Paul just started. Making a feeling, I think from the beginning, it's, it's not, it was a process. It wasn't a one day thing. Myself and Paul had picked the beats because he came for he came beat shopping since he was working on his project. So when I was playing the beats I had, because I didn't even know what I had, I just I know I saved it and I saved them with funny names. And for feeling itself, I remember we saved it. I saved it with um, S D D D D D D. That's how I saved it. And then he was like, what's this? I was like, let me play it, I don't know. And I played it, and as soon as I started playing, even me, I sat back, I was like, oh, okay, this is nice. And he was like, he likes this one. And then we kept it. The day we recorded Feeling, we had Buju in the studio for a different song entirely. And we had recorded that song. We are done recording that song, which is also very, very dope. And after recording, we're just chilling in the studio. It was even the studio. We're chilling in the studio, just, you know, just in vibing, playing the song. And then, you know, Paul decided, that, oh, let's play him some other stuff that we have. Paul asked me to play the feeling beats. And then I played the beats. As soon as it started, Buju was like, nah, nah, he has to jump on this. You know, drops his, um, his, his hook. And it was like one take. It was everything he sang on that hook was just, you know, one take. And as soon as he dropped it, we just knew that this was it. We had to complete this song. And if you hear that song, you will know that it was very intentional. Like the message we're trying to pass, you know, was very intentional. Everything was on purpose. So would would um, brainstorm and think of like lines. We, he had dropped like a couple of lines. We changed it. We go back, drop like a couple of lines, and say, "Oh, this this sounds better. This sounds better." And then when we are done with that, Paul came again and took everything, you know, from top to the end is his his rap you know to put all that emotions into it so the one thing we talked about the one thing we agreed on was to create something that that um was nostalgic um so this particular sound i mean from the beginning i think he already pulls you in you want to hear what you know what the outcome of the beat is like so this was very very intentional i think this was how i actually started creating it because i had like the sound in my head and i just played it and then the other sound i think which is very very dominant which pulls the attention so after the strings like when you hear this particular thing mm, the wobble bass yeah Strings. And there was this particular sound that I used, which also kind of like reminds people of something. This, this particular sound. Yeah. So it's a popular sound that um, Jesse Jags used to play with a lot. And I felt like it would be good on the beat. So I added it.
what actually made me use that that particular sound was um you know we had myself and paul we had talked about it and i just realized that olik was 10 years and in a long time rap has has not done rap music has not done what oliko did at the time and we needed to you know give them something like that and something that would remind them of that and they make you want to listen to this i i don't think i have a favorite sound i never really have a favorite sound or favorite anything but paul has a favorite sound on this beat it's a guitar sound particular sound and there are a couple of there are a couple of other sounds that are in the beats that make it what it is there's, there's this sound it's like a vocal chop Vocal chop comes again, so it's in the hook. The last thing I added to the feeling beat is that guitar part that Ladipo likes a lot. That was the last part of the beats. Um, that's it here, I think. This part. So that's that's the last that's the last part of the beat. After I added this, I just knew that that was it. It's a wrap. So I want to give a big shout out to Ladipo and Buju. Um, it's um, a great privilege to, you know, be on creates in a monster hit like feeling together. I mean, I think um, it was just meant to be, and I'm I'm really I'm really grateful for it.